so what are we doing now? And I say that because you can't say in one breath that we are going to have the most lethal army in the world and that Israel has the right to defend itself while also calling for a ceasefire and wanting, you know, liberation for the pals. You cannot do that because it makes no sense. That makes no sense, okay? It makes absolutely no sense. It's like saying, of course I believe in land back for indigenous people of Turtle Island. Of course, what do you mean? Signs a $30 million check giving to big oil, giving to big agriculture, ruining the earth. You can't do both. You can't do both. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Feel how you want, but that doesn't make any sense. And if it makes you feel better that she said that, oh, we need a ceasefire too. You can't say that Israel has the right to defend itself. What are they defending themselves from? And who are they defending? And, 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 and who are they, this defense? What are they doing with this defense? You can't say you want a ceasefire and that they deserve and that you will always support Israel. It doesn't make any bit of sense. And I don't understand why people are acting like, oh, but she did say she was in, she was pro ceasefire. You're supposed to be pro get Israel the hell out of there and let pal have their economy to their land. Get the colonizers out of there. But you guys don't want to do that. Why? Because that would be like putting a mirror up to your face and saying, oh, because if we get is not real up out of PAL and let PAL have autonomy over their own livelihoods on their own land, gee, maybe a lot of us in this country would have to get the heck up out of here too because we've done this a lot of our ancestors and a lot of us have done the same things that it is not real is doing to pal right now to the indigenous people in this country on turtle island and maybe we if we put a mirror up to our face we might see that oh my gosh the same thing the exact same thing is going on and we would never want to be kicked out of our country so we're just going to say, oh, but she wants a ceasefire too. You guys make absolutely no sense. And it really just bogs my brain like forever. Like you say all the time, I want change. Things are so hard. Life living in this country is so just difficult. I can't afford groceries. I can't afford nothing. Everything is just really hard. Healthcare is not doing what it should be. Healthcare should be free. I want these student loans gone. All of these things. And yet you're clapping and you're cheering and you're so proud that a nominee for president just said that we're going to have the most lethal army in the entire world and that it will always support is not real and that it will always make sure that they have the right to defend themselves but you seem to not understand what that means that means that all the money that could be going to health care to getting people houses to, to feeding people to doing a lot of things that could be happening that you swear you want to happen in this country all that money that's going to go to the military all that money is going to go to is not real you are not going to have any of the things you want in this country because it's all going to go to them. So that is not real can have health care. So that we can go and continue to bomb brown and black countries. It's sick, it's disgusting, it's twisted, and it's not okay. And you guys swear you want change all the time. And, and, and you say that out of your mouth. And then, on the other hand, you just clap and you go along with the okie doke and you make sure that oh my gosh the speech she gave is just so heartwarming and like makes me feel so good knowing 
that America is going to be okay. Because it doesn't matter that we can have the most lethal army in the entire world. It doesn't matter that, you know, um, we're going to continue to fund is not real. It doesn't matter because she said that pals deserve a ceasefire. Not that is not real should get the hell out of there. And not that they should leave the pals alone and let them have autonomy over their own lands. No. Why would we say that? If we said that, then we're going to have to leave this country because, gee, we are doing the same thing to the indigenous people here. So we would have to get the hell up out of here. And we just can't do that. We just can't do that. So we're just going to ignore ignore that whole thing because she said she wanted a ceasefire she said it she said it so what more do you want what more do you want i'm so tired of you all you all bother me like so hardcore so hardcore and it's just like i've been trying to hold my tongue because it's like every time i speak like it's like people are like well you just just need to shut up you just need to shut up She's our saving grace, so shut up. Just shut up. They are our saving grace. That orange man, shut up. But I'm tired of it. And the fact that not one pal got to speak on that stage, I'm so entirely sick of it. I am so entirely sick of it. Yes, I love little John. I do. He's cool. He's great. But he is not running for office and he is not going to save us. And so while it's cute that all these celebrities came and spoke and all of these things and blah, 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 blah. What does that actually have to do with policy? And what does that have to do with our future? And what does this have to do with the fact that nothing is getting done? You can say what you want. You can have all this hope. You can do whatever. And I don't care. But like, it's so annoying that I keep watching people just act like nothing is going on. And it's really annoying and it's really frustrating. And it's really getting in on my nerves because y'all don't know how to act. Y'all don't know how to act. Like y'all act like, oh, one minute you're like, oh my gosh, things are so hard. I hate the government, all these things. And then the next minute you're just like, oh my God, the government is so great. What do you mean? Oh my God, the, the government is wonderful. The government is going to save us. Remember? Of course, I know the government's not going to save us, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. If we put the right person in office, then at least we'll be able to make things a little easier for everybody. And then we can continue the work. The work that most of you weren't doing in the first place. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, okay. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. I'm just tired, y'all. Because some of y'all really get on my nerves. Like, some of y'all really be out here getting on my nerves. And I really don't care what you say about me or how you feel about me or if you write in the comments, I'm, you know, Trump this and Trump that. And I really don't care. I really, truly don't care. Again, you do you. You vote for whoever you want to vote for. I really, really, truly don't care because no matter who is in office, you guys wouldn't do anything. That's the thing that bothers me. Y'all would not do literally anything. Because it showed from the last 10 plus months when we were yelling, screaming, crying on this app in real life, on the internet in general, talking about how you should be talking about what is going on in PAL and you decided to turn your brain off and not help. And now that, you know, your rights barely are on the line that we barely have are on the line. Oh, it's, you know, I want to support, but we have to think about ourselves and we just have to, Team USA, Team USA, Team USA. It's sick, it's gross, it's deplorable, it's annoying. Chill out, relax, act like you have some couth, act like you have some decorum. Just what are we doing? What are we doing? Cause it feels like, Business as usual. So much for change. So much for progress. I really thought we were on something, but I should never get my hopes up that y'all care. Y'all should, I should just never do that. So, yeah. Y'all, yeah. 
I'm tired, y'all. I just, y'all frustrate me. Y'all frustrate me. Y'all frustrate me so much. Uh, change is fake. And I don't know why I even bother to believe that change is possible ever with this country. Ever.